Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody in Talking Beards world? Oh, hey, peaches. So that's from uh, the YouTube show Previewed, right? Previewed? Yeah, yeah, I did it. So they do, like, reviews of trailers, and they did a whole series of trailers. Stuff. Yeah, like, like movie things that pull NASCARs. No, just regular oh. trailers. And uh, they also did a whole series of shows about uh, Boba Fett. So, yeah. that's. I remember, like, you would probably like it. Remember that time you were sitting there telling me all about trailers? <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, you're like, and the trailer was this long. And I'm like uh-huh. looking down and I'm like, this long? God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just <laughs> wanted to bring that up so bad. I did, and because as soon as I saw that, I started laughing when you were doing the video at the beginning of the show, and I'm like, "How can I incorporate this in?" And you brought the whole trailer but thing up. I, I knew. See, we're like ESPN. We, mm-hmm. you know, we're like. I knew that you wanted Connected. to talk about that. Anyway, so let's get into this. So I'm Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you for everybody watching Talking Beards tonight. This is uh, episode number. Oh my gosh, 159. I feel discombobulated. It is also to- number. 236 of the podcast. Uh, Tonight, we're going to have Patrick Dawson on the show. Uh, He's going to talk all about the Battle Born Beard and Mustache Competition. No, that's not right. Nevada Battle Born? I don't know. It's the world's longest beard competition name. And Patrick's going to tell us all about what it means and what it means to him. But tonight, we have a NASCAR driver on the show. From the Xfinity series, we're going to have, are you ready? What? what? Dylan Bassett on the show. What? I I'm know. so, I'm very excited about this. I'm super excited. So I'm actually I'm, excited to talk to someone else other than you. There we go. Here it is. The Southern Nevada Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition. I wrote Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition, and I knew that wasn't right because I knew it was way longer. But uh, yeah, so, we, you know, you saw the little pictures I just popped up about an hour ago because all this was very, very much developing late in the day. So we they had a breaking news. It's it's very much breaking news. So we, we have I mean, I know we've said this before, but this is quite possibly the biggest breaking news Talking Beards ever had. And uh, we're going to we're going to talk about it probably 830 ish. Um, Dylan's on the road. We got Patrick already on the show. There's a lot going on, a lot of moving parts. So uh, let's just get into this. Go ahead, Scott. And I am uh, Scott Sakura all day long, every day. So if you have any questions about who that may be, that's this guy right here. Uh, but uh, you can find more about me by going to at Scott Sakura, as you see right there on all social media. But we want you to go over to TalkingBeards.com. There you can find out more about the show. You can subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. If uh, you happen to be a value for value podcast, uh, a boost grammar, you can boost us right now. You can give us some Satoshis. We'd be, I mean, I know this is going way over everyone's head. But, <laughs> it's, it's over my head. I didn't yeah. even know. I but forgot yeah, so, about the Satoshis. Yeah. So, you know, if you're, if you're, if you can do that, if the uh, podcast, uh, app that you use uh lets you donate to your creator go for it right now um, we're creators we're you creators can, you can send us to koshis yes to koshis to koshis what is it uh Screw it. satoshis satoshis i yeah. did it on my first trip. but uh yeah so you can find out more information about the show by going over there but uh as we do at the beginning of every show we want to tell everyone to make sure that they go over to honestamish.com when you guys order anything over there, we want you guys to use 
the promo code talking beards when you're going through the checkout and you will get 15% off your order. And if I'm still correct, do we still get free shipping on orders over $35 or more? That is correct. You are. This is great. So make sure you, uh, I mean, this is the best way If you guys are new to the show and you guys haven't tried any honest Amish stuff out. Um, this is the best way to do it because you'll get 15% off. So you want it to pay full price for, uh, whatever you may want to try. Like if you want to try a bomb or an oil, or if you want to try some, uh, chapstick, I mean, they got some really good stuff. It's, it's so. lip balm. It's not lip, chapstick. Sorry. Lip balm. Gosh, so it's honest. I'm an influencer, Scott. That's what Influ- Andrew said. I don't influence anyone. So Matt McClear put this on there. Uh oh. <laughs> T S N B B B A M C. So that's the Southern Nevada Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition. We're just gonna refer to it as that from now on. So see Forever. If you can do it. <laughs> so Patrick Dawson, how's the the T S N B B B A M C going? And it, well, He'll be he like, oh, he's, in the, he's he's down there and he can see us. But if he wasn't in here, he wouldn't know what the heck we were talking about. It's like, yes. So, uh, so yeah. should should we bring our guest Andre Dawson in? Oh, sorry, did I make a baseball reference like you did last week with changing the first person's name? Oh my goodness, that's two weeks in a row. Also, yeah, speaking of last week, so um, now nah, we'll we'll get into that later on. Never mind, we'll go ahead. So, uh, yeah, we can, we can do that. If you want, you just want to go ahead and talk to Brandon Dawson. Oh, well, we could talk to uh world champion, Patrick Dawson. We can. So, uh, oh my gosh, that's the wrong one. There we go. So tonight, <laughs> uh, we're going to just dive right into this because we have two guests and we generally don't. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Patrick Dawson. He is going to talk all about. Oh my gosh, the Southern Nevada Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition that is happening March 26th in Pahrump, Nevada. It's like an hour ish from Las Vegas. My gosh, he's got a lot going on. Let's get into this thing. Patrick Dawson, what's going on? Hey, yo. How's it going? I feel, guys? Like, I feel like we just saw you a few weeks yeah. ago. Right. Uh, hasn't been long, that's for sure. Remember that time you beat Aaron and I? It's happened a couple of times. Aaron still is the world champ. So uh, we got to remember that. National champ. I'm my my bad national champ. He's a three-time national champion and a great American champion. So, I mean, that's still pretty freaking good. It's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm number number two in the world three times in in a row. row. That's Always, always the bridesmaid, you know. (laughs) <laughs> you know, your, your day's coming. It's, it's definitely coming, but I mean, you know, you got a, a whole trophy case full of national titles. That's still pretty, pretty nice. One it more than me. Cool. And One that more freaking me. tiara from Cassie. Good job. <laughs> a tiara. Yes. I've got those and a couple sashes to go with it. Well, most importantly, the tiara. <laughs> it looks pretty on me. Because that's all we really wanted was that tiara. Because we're all princesses. <laughs> <clears throat> I know Natalie did. So uh, let's just get into this. What is up with the world's longest title for a beard competition? Was this your idea? Just because you knew you were going to come on Talking Beards and I was just going to mess it up? Well, it, it is definitely a mouthful, that's for sure. Um, but we are in Nevada. And uh, there are a couple other clubs in northern Nevada. So... Um, being in Reno and Carson City. So we definitely wanted to, uh, you know, separate us from just being the Battleborn. Battleborn being the state motto. So uh, going with the Southern Nevada Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition. So, And then so it's like Honest Amish presents the Sin City Beard Coalition Southern Nevada <laughs> Battleborn yeah. Beard and Mustache Competition. Put that yeah, on a yeah. license plate. Presented, presented oh. by uh, Honest Amish <laughs> and hosted by the Sin City Beard Coalition and the Bearded Lady Saloon. So, you know, lots of beards going on here. Good gosh. You, it's <laughs> it's going to be an event, though. So, let's get into this thing. We, we were talking earlier. Uh, you have, you know, it's going along with the chili cook-off. 
And you want to tell us a little bit about that thing? Cause that's, that's not normally how beer competitions operate. There's not usually a, a chili cook off going on because chili and beards don't usually mix. Right. Right. It, it, it should be challenging and quite the experience for everybody. Uh, so they're having the, uh, in an invitational uh, chili cook-off going on here in Pahrump, uh, the same day in the same park. Uh, there's, as of right now, like 40 contestants involved and in, uh, from all over the country bringing in their world-class chilies. Um, you can uh, uh, sample all uh, the different chilies. I think it's $10 for, uh, 12 samples. So, and you can also, uh, put your uh, vote into which one you like is the best, but it's, uh, in the past they've, uh, this has been quite the event. Uh, uh, obviously in the last couple of years, they haven't had it, but, uh, in 2019, there was over 4,000 people there throughout the weekend. So just to check out this international chili cook-off. So, so it's pretty 4, cool to people. be involved with it. So they were there for the chili cook-off in 2019. That was the yes. only event. That was the only event going on that day. Yeah. It was this chili cook-off and they have the whole park. So it's, uh, it's uh, uh, it's a large park there in Pahrump and uh, all kinds of different stuff going on, uh, you know, kid stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Where you Where is this event going to be held? Sorry, Scott. So we, uh, you know, the tough part about doing beard and mustache competitions is, is getting a venue, you know, and not trying to uh, spend a ton of money. Well, um Fortunately, the Bearded Lady Saloon uh, is running the chili cook-off, and along with that, they were able to uh, secure us the uh, a community center there in Pahrump. So it'll be right in the community center there in Pahrump, uh, right in the park, um, and we'll have the indoor um, facilities, but then lots of vendors outside and uh, stuff for the kids. Uh Along with uh, that going on, we'll have a mechanical bowl that uh, is like 10 bucks, and you get uh, three or four tries, you know, depending on how quick. If you're on for eight seconds, you know, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's it, though, right? Can you, can you tie your beard around the horn there to give yourself a little extra hold power? I, I'm not willing to try that, but, you know, <laughs> if you are, go right ahead. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so um, so we have that, and then uh, one of our sponsors is uh, Axe Monkey Axe Throwing here in Las Vegas, and they'll bring be bringing out their uh, mobile axe throwing. So we'll have that going on, uh, and that's like ten bucks for mm -hmm. ten throws, and they will also be giving a percentage of their earnings to the charity, uh, to the two charities. So we're really excited about them being part of it as well. Do you see this? Brains put this on there. Should you should have a dirty beard category with the chili eating? See, you I mean, we we definitely have some surprised uh, categories coming in. That's not a bad idea, though. So, I have thanks, a, brains. I have a better one. I think each contestant should get a bowl of chili, then put them on the back of the mechanical bowl and see if they can throw it <laughs> at the axe throwing target, and whoever gets yeah. closest wins. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, that, you combine that's, everything together. Bring it all together for sure. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like envisioning this in my head. That's why I'm like, I can see it. Like, and this is our, our first event. So, uh, it's a you know, heck of a start. Yeah. You know, uh, I've been involved in the beard community for about 13 years now. And, uh, this is only my second, uh, involvement in putting on a, uh, a competition so uh we definitely wanted to make a mark with doing this and uh make it fun for everybody you know uh you know as far as the beard community you know we we want to get everybody involved you know it's uh huge um you know to make the families come out and help support so that's really what we wanted to do is uh make it open to everybody all right, Patrick, just to kind of sidestep a little bit off sure. of the event. And just like you were saying, you've been involved in the community for about 13 plus years. How did you 
get involved in like how where 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 what's your like kind of origin story as to like how you got involved in it and how it's led up to where you're at right now um well so for a decade i owned a live music venue in tacoma washington and we had bands from all over uh, mostly punk rock and metal but uh we did everything you know uh, krs1 dick dale uh hank williams the third uh coolio played there once oh, actually. Wow. Awesome. Uh, but we we did a lot of fun stuff and one time a guy I can remember it very clearly. Uh, the guy came in and it's like, it was October of 2008. And he said, have you ever heard of Beard Team USA? And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about, man. And uh, the guy ended up uh, kind of selling me on the whole thing and had a really great story of him having a pretty cool beard and uh, uh, then ended up uh, getting cancer and losing his beard. But uh, obviously, he was back playing music, so he was healthy, had beat cancer. and uh, So I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go check out uh, Beard Team USA on uh, the old interweb. So uh, back then, it was dial-up, and I fired up the AOL, and uh, <laughs> I waited a bit for it to show up across my screen. And, and when it did, it said, uh, Unlike any other Olympic team, there's no drug testing or gender testing in Beard Team USA. That's what and I was it like. Says? Oh, all right, that's that's kind of funny. That made me laugh, and so I'm looking over the website, and oh wow, there's a world competition going on in Anchorage, Alaska, in May of '09, and I was like, huh. I had no idea that they had beard and mustache competitions, and I've never been to Alaska, so uh, let's. Uh, let's put a tip jar out for a few months and uh, see what we can raise. And uh, we raised about $1,600 for me and one of the other guys that worked there to go to Alaska. And man, we were blown away when we got there. Uh, over 300 competitors from 13 different countries there. And uh, wow. everybody was just super nice. And we had a great time. And I ended up taking fourth in the world. And That's I was like, well, uh, I'm pretty close to being number one in the world. So uh, let's just keep trying. And the more I got into it, the the more I, I really started to see the community part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, all the people I was meeting throughout and uh, and then the fundraising, all the all the charitable stuff we were doing. And I was just like, man, this is really cool. It's just more than just me, you know, and uh, we're doing something good out there. So uh, that's where my uh draw to the to the beard community came in and since then you know i've been able to travel all throughout the country and i've been to europe twice now and it's all to grow a beard and uh, raise money for charity so it, it's been pretty awesome i've had a great time with it i've met really really awesome people so and you've met scott I was just going to say, he met us, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did meet you guys. Yeah. I think the uh, first time I met both of you was in 2017 on the, on the world stage there in Austin. In Austin. So yep. uh, that was pretty cool, you know. Uh, and therefore, Aaron is, uh, from that day on, Aaron and I have had this, uh, and Scott. I mean, I can't leave you out. I don't really but that's a little different. I mean, you and I do share the the uh, commonality of being national champions in goatee. You're you're like the dad. I'm the little kid. Right, right. And we're, <laughs> we're also, uh, uh, though I'm not the greatest, uh, we are uh, semi musicians. I I'm a retired bass player, as I like to say. So, um, but yeah, well, so we're playing, retired band band triangle. <laughs> I could definitely join y'all's band. I just buy. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm no. I, I go. See, my my technique is I just put the stick bang in the middle oh, of the triangle, just go. go circles in the yeah. like yeah, dinner. Yeah. Dinner's ready. Yep, that's it. That's that's my style. So awesome. Andrew Andrew's got a good question. He said, do you, "Did you always compete in world's greatest facial hair category? So have you always been a goatee?" Uh, yeah. This is what I've walked around with for almost 21 years now it's been 21 years since i shaved my chin so 
Um, yeah, I've always just had a goatee. Never uh, grow, grew a full beard. It just, uh, you know, I would start out with one and it mm -hmm. uh, just didn't look right. I, I, I knew the goatee was the one for me. So it, I I, I've I always like rocked the guy. goatee. Yeah. Well, it's it's the most prestigious facial hairstyle. It, it took me a moment to uh, realize that, and I didn't I didn't get there until 2017. So I had a few years of being a dumb full beard, but I I you know I I found the light, and See, I'm glad I finally did. There is uh, internet proof of that as well, and I would be the first to say that, or maybe the second to say after Natalie. But you look way better with the goatee for sure. I 100 percent agree. It was. <laughs> I, I debated doing it for a while and then have definitely not regretted it one one day since. It was definitely a solid decision. Um, do your sides not grow in very well or do you just that was just it? You just wanted uh, to Oh no, I, I if I <laughs> wanted I could grow a full beard pretty pretty easy. And you my, should prove it. I always kind of told myself, you know, after I win the world championship, maybe I would go with the the full beard but uh now 13 years into it i'm still chasing that uh that dream so uh a few more years i guess of the goatee so all right patrick now you had discussed that one of the things that really drew you to the community was their their charitable donations and stuff like that let's talk a little bit about uh who you guys are going to be working or doing this event for who you guys are raising money for. Um, tell us a little bit about how you picked them and found them and got them involved in the whole thing. Well, our, our, uh, our first charity is the pediatric brain tumor foundation um, here in Vegas, uh, you know, and again, like both of our two charities, I think are super well uh, worthy causes. I mean, who, who wants to see a kid suffering, you know? And, um, and then, um, so uh, here in Vegas and throughout the country, they have a thing called uh, Ride for Kids, and it's all a, a fundraiser for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. And Lori Ann, my other half, uh, she's on the um, commission with the Ride for Kids here in Las Vegas. So that uh so we had a little bit of information about you know what they do and and uh you know we uh really wanted to help the kids you know and then uh and then to come full circle um uh yeah the ride for kids there um but then to go full circle uh our second uh, ca uh charity is the uh, disabled american veterans the DAV and uh their chapter 15 there in Pahrump and their goal is to facilitate uh, getting um, the veterans out in Pahrump to their medical um, appointments and whatnot. So um, yeah, they, they uh, take mo which most of them are in Las Vegas and they just make sure that they're there and they can uh, transport them out to their, their um, uh, medical issues and take care of their their doctor's appointments and whatnot. So their transportation and stuff. Their transportation of it, yeah. And um, being that we were able to uh, get a venue there in Pahrump for uh, without uh, cost, uh, we thought that it would be great to help out uh, one of the local charities right there in Pahrump as well. So. Yeah. So now, how did you hook up with them? Like, how? What was? How did you? Like, uh, well, pick the Bearded them? Lady Saloon, um, Kelly, the owner of Bearded Lady Saloon, she has a butterfly effect, which is a uh, her nonprofit, and she's worked with the DAV in the past. And so she, when we uh, talked to her about the venue, uh, we asked her, said, "Hey, you know, which one of these uh, local charities would you like?" to would be a good one to work with and she recommended the av right away so that was our we're like yeah definitely helping out the kids and the vets is uh it's big on both uh, on our um uh, from our point of view so yeah. we thought no better ones that's great absolutely You're helping the the young kids and the old kids that's right right <laughs> what can you what? believe that 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah, so we'll we'll just get back into the, the whole competition thing. Uh do you let's see, we got we got five minutes. Um so do you have any hotel deals? We'll we'll go there. Yeah, yeah. So we're working with uh, uh, the Nugget and Perump, um, and right now we have uh, Saturday, Friday, and Saturday at uh, sixty-five dollars a night. So you just call up. Wow. Uh, you do have to call them, but uh, call them and mention uh, Sin City Beard Coalition, and you can get that room rate at sixty-five dollars a night which is pretty good. No resort fees on that Uh, here in uh, Nevada and Vegas and whatnot. They'll kill you with the. They'll say there's a $29 room with a $75 resort fee. So, uh, Mm. you know, uh, the resort fees are are great not to have that part. So, yeah, we're working with them. And then um, we're also working with uh, uh, Saddle West, which is uh, another uh, hotel there. In Pahrump, and they have rooms for us for uh, sixty nine dollars a night, and uh, along with that, uh, we'll be having our our Sunday brunch there. They have a eleven dollar brunch buffet, so uh, great great place to stay as well. How close are the two hotels to the uh, event space? Uh, they're you know within a quarter mile. So it's super close. The Nugget is basically right across the street. Um, and the uh, Saddle West is right down the road. So very close, though. Super close. And how many donut places are within walking distance of the... This is important. This is important. Aaron needs to know about all the donut places. There are some donut shops out there. <laughs> fingers crossed. You know how things work. Uh Sometimes, but we might even have a mobile uh, food truck that does uh, donuts on site. So mobile. this is amazing. It won't be far for you if we got those guys coming out. But uh, you know, every once in a while, things just don't work the way we we plan. But uh, you know, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna live in the donut truck. How about <laughs> that? Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just do the beer competition in the donut truck? I think that's a good idea. It sounds like a great idea. I'll I think it sounds like then everybody can come out there to me. That sounds yeah. like bribery to get Aaron to come. Let's just bring the donut truck right to him. Just get him to come. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie just said, "How are you not fat?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know as well because uh, I uh, I like a donut too, but boy, I feel like after I eat one of them, I just gained five pounds. I'm like, yeah. what this happened? So that's why you just like when you go home, you just forget to eat for like an entire day, and you're like, "Why does my <laughs> stomach hurt?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, I didn't eat today. I do that all the time." A so. donut. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> All right. Um, I I can see you at the bottom, Dylan. Are are you are you ready? I don't I don't see your your little camera on or anything. Anyway, Patrick. <clears throat> yeah. No. No. Uh, I don't know what else can we talk about real quick. Um. Well, um, I'd like to mention our judges as well. Yeah. Well, um, so what, what we're gonna do is yeah. we have an announcement at eight thirty ish. Okay. And uh, this isn't necessarily for you, this is for everybody watching. So what we're going to do is uh, once our, our second guest is on, and I think he's only going to be on for five, you know, 10 minutes, maybe we're, we're going to, we got a quick announcement that I'm super excited about. And uh, we're, we're not done with Patrick Dawson. So we'll, we'll just, I, I don't necessarily have the other guests so we can, we can dive into the judges. And once he, once he's there and ready, then, you know, we'll, we'll sure. He is. And now he's here. He's, he's working. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> so hey, we'll, we'll do a hard a bit. Yeah, we'll we'll do a hard break. And we'll do a part two of Patrick Dawson. Oh, I'm See excited. You soon. All right. So, um, while Dylan's getting all set up, yeah. So we had some pretty exciting stuff happen over here today. Uh, everybody knows I'm a I'm a big NASCAR fan. If you, no. you saw the room that I'm uh, currently, you know, streaming from, you would you would understand, but. Yeah, um, I've been, you know, given the opportunity to be the director of marketing for Honest Amish, and and some things have really came out of nowhere today, and I'm really excited to talk about it. So <clears throat> I don't really know exactly how much, how deep we're going to go into this thing, but I don't know. But we're we're going to do it. So let's just let's just get going. So here we go. So 
tonight for our second guest, we have an amazing announcement. And Dylan Bassett, the driver of the 77 Chevy Camaro in the Xfinity Series, is going to come on. And it, we're going to just chat a little bit. And then we're just going to, you know, just dive into this super cool, amazing announcement that we have. What's up, Dylan? Hey, how are you? I'm doing excellent. How are you doing? Sounds like you got some headphones and stuff now or something. Yeah, we're ready to go. We're doing great. I appreciate the opportunity to be on the show. Yeah, man, we're, we're happy to have you. Where, where are you at now? Uh, we're about 15 minutes from pulling in the shop at Winston-Salem. Okay. And so you're going to you're gonna just mess with the car tonight, or are you going to load up and leave tonight? Uh, no, we'll actually start back at 7.30 in the morning working on the car. Um, we're pretty much done for the evening. Okay. So, uh... How, let's just let's just get going with all this. So uh, you're you're the driver of the '77 Xfinity Series car, and uh, for for Bassett Racing, correct? Correct. Um, super pumped for this weekend. Um, we'll be down in Atlanta Motor Speedway, uh, trying to qualify for the NASCAR Xfinity race. Um, super excited to have uh, Honest Amish Beards on for this weekend. Um, it's uh, really exciting opportunity um, alongside with Jerry Hunt you know two great partners um, I'm really excited to work with your company um, or y'all's company um, this weekend and just hoping to make the best of it when uh, how many how many times have you ran this Xfinity car um, we've been running part-time in the Xfinity series for the past three years um, okay. last year was the first time that we branched out uh, started our own team actually uh, the first two years we were running under uh, somebody else's team name, uh, but we felt like the next step for us was to start our own team. Um, we already had our own equipment and our own uh, trailer and uh, employees and stuff like that. So we felt like we wanted to try to take the next step in the uh, racing community and start our own team up. Uh, growing up, that's all we ever did was we always ran our own equipment, um, had our own team. But when we moved up into the NASCAR Xfinity Series, it's a lot more difficult to just have your own team. There's so much behind the scenes that goes on. So we kind of just tiptoed into it. And then last year we tried uh, going full board into it. And there were some circumstances that just didn't fall our way. But uh, we're looking to improve on it this year. What do you? What Are you excited about the new layout of Atlanta? Are you nervous about it? Are you excited about it? Um, I'm pretty pumped up about it. Um, it's a lot different than what it was in the past. Um, new asphalt means there's going to be a lot uh, greater speeds, which always is exciting when you're a driver. Um, the faster you go, the better it is, right? Do you think it's really going to race like a super speedway, or do you still, still feel like it'll have an intermediate feel to it? Um, well, I think it's definitely going to race kind of like a super speedway. Um, they put a restrictor plate on us because the new asphalt's so fast. But the biggest difference is going to be is there's cars that are made for super speedway racing, and then we have down for what we call downforce cars. They're the intermediate style car race cars. The chassis are pretty close to the same, but there's some few body components that are a little different. So what NASCAR has done is they put a super speedway motor package in our car, but they implemented uh, downforce body rules. So it's a kind of a tweener between both. That's that's cool. I was kind of wondering what they were, how they were going to work this. So how many how many cars are you know on the entry form for the Xfinity race on Saturday? Um, I believe there's 43 cars on the entry list. So that means five cars will be sent home. So how do you feel about your car? I feel pretty confident. Um, we spent a lot of late nights working on it. Um, so I feel like we've been pretty much preparing for this for the past few weeks. And I think we've been well prepared. Well, let's just get into this and, and we'll, we'll debut the what we got to show for everybody. So let's just show this bad boy off. So you, everybody's pretty much picked up what we're doing here. So... Uh, I was reached out to about potentially sponsoring the hood of this car, and, and this is what we got to show. So here we go. Honest Amish is going to be on the hood of the 77 Chevrolet this weekend in Atlanta. This is awesome. It looks good. 
It's a good looking car there. Yeah, I'm super pumped about it. Super pumped. Dylan, yeah. uh, hello. My name is uh, Scott Sakura. I am a correspondent from Talking Beards. <laughs> um, just a quick question. Um, how do you feel the restriction that NASCAR has put on growing beards is going to affect your race this weekend? Or do you feel like it will improve your aerodynamic ability higher than any other time? Or you, you're not Can you say that again? You broke up. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he, he wanted to know. Do you I'd love to grow a beard. <laughs> He's being stupid. I was trying to make a really bad I beard I told him I joke. needed a little bit of product. Yeah, I'm going to bring you product. We're going to make that beard grow in real nice. He's going to grow that beard, and he's not going to shave that beard. He's going to have a beard from – he's going to be like, oh, my gosh, the bearded lifestyle is where we need to – and Honest Amish is going to stay on that hood of that car forever. Boy. And then next thing you know, he's going to be like the bearded NASCAR guy. You could. That could be your thing. I think we lost Dylan. I think we don't. Oh, there he is. There, he's back. He's back. It could be your thing. Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. I'd love I mean, to have a beard. How many? Be it it how, fit me nice. How I many bearded so. NASCAR drivers are there, really? I can't. Think uh, of there's a few that have a beard, but not many. Not they, many they at all. They're not real, though. So is there is there a, a restriction on the length of beard that you can have in NASCAR? Like for like Say that fire again, You're breaking up again. <clears throat> no, you're good. Uh, is there like a restriction? For long beards in NASCAR, for like you know, like fire reasons or anything like that. No, um, most people are clean shaven because that's what a lot of sponsors like. But hey, if you got a beard sponsor, you can grow that puppy out as long as you want. That's what. Yeah. I <laughs> this is awesome. great news. Well, Dylan, I'll let you get back to driving and stuff or riding, and uh, I look forward to seeing you Saturday and hanging out. Hopefully watching you race into the, the show in Atlanta. Absolutely. I appreciate your support and uh, see you Saturday. All right, buddy. You have a have a good day and we'll see you soon. Good luck. Yeah, see you. Thank see you. you. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Breaking news. Breaking oh we didn't even get to ask him what his favorite I know, I forgot. dog was. <sighs> I'm like, all I'll, I wanted to know was that did really did they name the Basset Hound after his family? I'll I'll ask him Saturday. Okay. All right. So here we go. Video. Patrick Dawson 2.0. What's up, Patrick? <laughs> oh. oh, he's gone. He wants to be a NASCAR <laughs> driver now too. What just happened? <laughs> Criminy. Hey, we can hear you. That's good. There we go. Coming we can back. Coming beard. back. A bunch of beard bomb on the front of his car, and maybe it'll make it go faster. Oh my gosh, we just lost him. It's all right. We can. It's all right. So, so you uh, you were saying earlier before the show started, you won a, an award this past week. Let's let's yeah. hear about this thing. Look at this. It's oh. the Golden Squeegee Award. So, what? so what? What? Where did this Golden Squeegee Award come from? So, uh, the, all right. So the company I work for decided that they would, uh, award everyone just kind of f think of like, uh, like the office with the Dundies. So everyone got golden squeegees. Okay. And, uh, so my award was for most likely to wash windows on their free time at home. And, uh, so I received the golden squeegee award for that. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Look I like it. Well, congratulations, like, Scott. You're, thank you. It's like almost way better than like my my uh, national trophies that I have. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, if you were in over 18, I would say that, you know, your national title would be better. But under 18, you're supposed to go. Is now. that a squeegee or a mustache? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> 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 All right. Patrick Dawson, 2.0. That's 3.0 now. This is 3.0 now. Yeah, 2.0 just hey, turned guys. to a white screen. Hey, Patrick, how's it going? <laughs> all uh, right, so last we left off, you were going to tell us all about your judges. Yeah, I got one question, though. Um, Go are they going to let you guys put a talking beard sticker on, like, the gas cap? Or it's gonna That will wreck the aerodynamics of the car. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, I didn't think I'm, about I'm, that part. but I'm definitely going to take talking beard stickers with me, and we'll see yeah. what happens. Maybe you know. after the race, you can get one on the car, and then you can take a picture of it. 
At least well, you get the picture on it for sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm Dump. I'm doing it. That's a good idea. I'm taking one and I'm just gonna slap it on there. Do I do that all the time, and no one ever notices. I don't know how many times I've put an Aaron sticker on a register when I've like checked out at a restaurant or something. <laughs> do it all the time. <clears throat> so I think I can so, do it. I'm just like, oh, check out this car. There we go. And just walk away. Yeah. All right. So judges for the Southern Nevada Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition. Yeah. So with our judges, you know, uh, uh, you always want to bring in the. Uh, the top of the top, right? So uh, I reached out to people in the community and and I feel like I got a great group of people to be a part of this and uh, a different, uh, all different kinds of different beards. And so uh, we get a variety. Um, so to your right, actually, Scott, we have, uh, uh, yeah, we get the world champion goatee from 2017 that's uh, me oh that, guy? that would be aaron yeah i'm gonna aaron. be there i'm a judge that guy right there and uh, uh the wonder couple actually because then uh natalie will be uh, uh as well our wow. whiskerina extraordinaire natalie johnston will also be on the judging panel so uh that's exciting uh, then from uh, Los Angeles, we have uh, Mr. John Banks, uh, uh, freestyle superstar, seen on uh, Steve Harvey's show and uh, right. all across the America with his outstanding freestyle. Uh, then we have uh, our celebrity judge is uh, out, of, out of Las Vegas. Uh, he's the world record uh, fire breather. Antonio uh, Restivo is uh, going to be on there. And then uh, breaking news, uh, as things go, uh, we things change for you. But uh, uh, breaking news uh, from California, mob, mob chapter, California, Mr. John Fabs is going to jump in and be our our fifth judge so i've never heard uh, of him i have yeah hey it's oh. part of the talking beards network oh right that one that, oh, guy, that, guy, that, that guy yeah so <laughs> we're 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 thankful for all of them to step up and be a part of this uh um again lots of people uh here are still new to the whole bearding community and bearding competitions. I, I know lots of people think, Oh, I gotta, I gotta, especially when I talk to them, they're like, Oh, I, I can't compete against mm. you. Yeah, and I'm like, no, time. there's, there's, you know, here at our competition, we have 16 different categories. So there's something for everybody to be involved in this, you know? Yes. Yeah, Scott. Do you have any like kind of like, offshoot categories for this that's not a typical category that you would find at a normal competition like any kind of like special category that's just for this event well i mean it's been done before but uh of course with being part with working with the pediatric brain tumor foundation and we want to have this a family affair so we are going to have uh a, a kids category and we will have a uh, a build the beard table where uh, people, mom and dad, can come in and help their kids. We've been collecting stuff for for a few months now, so we have a plethora of different objects and items to to build beards with. And then uh, again, working with the the veterans, we're having a veterans category as well. But then along with that, there'll be some special. Uh, categories that uh, we're going to kind of save to the day of the event. <clears throat> yeah, Aaron. Did you read this very important question? Oh. Speaking of stepping up, are you providing a step ladder for Fabs to get up to the judges table? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there is a, the stage does have stairs. So Good. John will be able to climb on up. No problem. All right, Fabs, you got steps. That's good. You 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 can make it. You I won't have to give you a boost like I had to do last time. Yeah, and then our MC from uh, Beards Barbecue is Jake Barn Barngarf, 
Uh, so we're excited to have Jake as part of our uh, competition as well. Um, Jake, uh, I've seen him uh, uh, MC at the Modesto competition, and man, Jake did great. He uh, he's got a great sense of humor and really keeps the the evening and the afternoon flowing. And nice. Some good little dry humor and whatnot. Uh, so it's great. So we're excited about that as well. It's, it sounds like it's going to be an extremely fun filled event. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, definitely we're going to have, uh, uh, for the kids, you know, we want to, there's a playground for them, but along with that, we're going to have some, uh, guest appearances from, um, the minor league baseball team here in town called the aviators. They're bringing out their two mascots as well. So uh, picture time with the mascots and they will be bringing out some swag and stuff to hand out. And so it'll be fun. Oh, Scott. Oh, oh, you said something about pictures and this just reminds me about my favorite photographer in the entire world, Greg Anderson. Is yeah. it true or false? Is Greg Anderson going to be at this event taking pictures? Greg Anderson is our is our photographer. Oh so, my gosh! Um, yeah, we, again, I was just super thankful and grateful that uh, Greg was uh, willing to come out and be a part of this with us. It's uh, it's quite an honor to have someone of his caliber out there taking. Uh, photos of all the competitors and whatnot it, it, it it's really awesome so and you not really... only do we have greg anderson we also have Inkira. what Inkira is coming as well i'm so oh. thankful for her as well so this we'll is have gonna great be the photos most... pictures the everywhere and then great photos of the competitors and uh, of the on stage and everything so yeah, yeah it, it's really cool i'm excited about this it. is what definitely is this... an all-star event Definitely. What time is this thing yes. going to get started on Saturday? So, uh, you know, we'll do uh, on Friday, we'll do a meet and greet and you can pre-register at the bearded lady. And that'll probably start around seven o'clock on Friday. And we'll kind of just hang out. Uh, might go to the arcade, which is right there in the parking lot, or we might set up a bowl and uh, do some bowling at the, the nugget has bowling, so we got a few lanes uh, reserved for us. So uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll do a little bowling tournament for the night, and uh, maybe there might be an award for that, you know. So, um, but are uh, you a professional bowler, Patrick Dawson? I'm good for like two games. That's so, it. <laughs> you sound uh, like me. The yeah, first I'm... game is a warm up. The second mm -hmm. game, I'm pretty good. And if we go into a third game, I'm probably going to do worse than uh, my first game. So that's exactly how I play. <laughs> it's me too. Yeah. So, so, um, so Saturday, what? Uh, what Saturday, kind of we're we're hoping to have the doors uh, open at noon, but we might have it a little earlier, mm -hmm. uh, just to do a little pre registration as well. Uh, again, we don't want anybody to be left out. So uh, all the way up to the event, you know, we're going to register people. We want to bring in as much money as possible. So we're just going to, um, we might open at 1130, but definitely by noon, uh, the doors will be open. And then hopefully we'll be starting one-ish uh, with the competition. So what time does the chili stuff start? Will it already be going on by noon or does it start? The chili cook-off starts at 10 o'clock. So, okay. um, yeah, the chili will be ready to go by noon and uh, everybody can go. And that goes until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah, definitely some hours to be able to get on the chili. So, And then we got some breaking news right here. Crystal Davis doesn't have her boot anymore. Look at that. She's Yay. Free. Congratulations. She can Crystal. bowl. That's awesome. I don't Crystal's... think you need to go bowling. You'll probably drop a bowling ball on your foot or something, then you'll be back in a boot. So we, we need to protect Crystal Davis at all all counts. <laughs> She's a national treasure. She's a well, national treasure. We'll, we'll make one lane that just has the roll in and the bumpers up, you know, so we can just roll it and let it go. All right, so we're we're getting directed here by by the boss lady. What what's the after comp stuff? 
after comp stuff is uh so uh we do have the park uh all night and after the comp uh, there'll be a band playing in the r rodeo arena so they'll have a, a center stage going on and that band is called uh, uh taste of seattle or seattle's best seattle's best thank you aaron it's a I coffee it band coffee things right <laughs> um but seattle's best will be uh they're performing a bunch of classic uh, Seattle uh, grunge style and some other classic hits of Seattle, I'm sure. This is awesome. awesome. Yeah, so that would be pretty cool. I think it's $10 to get into the arena. And uh, if you want to be up on the stage, I think they're they're charging $20. But, $20, uh, I can play with the band on stage. 20 bucks, you can play with the band for sure. Bring, I'm bring my your triangle. triangle. Heck maybe, yeah. Maybe you can triangle to them playing some Teen Spirit by the Nirvanas. By the Nirvana. Yeah. Triangling so. it up. So is the uh, is the uh, rodeo arena relatively close or is that? It's in the same park. So, I mean, it's, it's literally walking distance, you know. Is there going to be a rodeo going on? No rodeo, but, oh. uh, you know, yeah. if all works out, we'll get... Uh, uh, a little demo from our fire breather. And uh, so hopefully we can do a little of that. Uh, that all depends on uh, weather conditions, mm -hmm. of course. And uh, yeah, so, but uh, we'll do that after the competition. Uh, again, we have, uh, we'll have uh, multiple raffles going on. Uh, we, we've done a pretty good job of collecting stuff. Uh, our sponsors have really stepped up in this. Um, we have Honest Amish is one of is presenting this, but then and also sponsoring uh, the Bearded Lady Saloon uh, with the bull riding and the venue and the Axe Monkey uh, again with the mobile axe throwing, which will be happening there. Uh, and they've also helped us with our trophies. So. Um, Super stoked about them being a part of it. And we also had Lowe's uh, Home Improvement step up and help donate and gave us a bunch of stuff for our raffles as well. So if you're into tools and whatnot, there's going to be some really cool raffles in that I'm part. I'm glad I'm driving so, out there. This is going to get ridiculous. <laughs> you're going to come home with a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, so we, got um, one, we got one more thing that we've been directed to talk about. What about the llamas? Okay. Well, yeah. So uh, we're going to have some llamas out there for uh, kind of a petting zoo kind of thing going on. So, again, take some photos with the llamas and a little petting zoo. Uh, they're, they're only going to be able to be there for a short time, but uh, definitely going to be a part of it as well. So, yeah, we're excited. And you and you said you can register on Saturday as well. Saturday we'll be registering people for sure. Go, right now uh, we do have a website up, and uh, you can check us out on the Facebook event page, and that will lead you right to it and pre-register for it. And if you do pre-register, you get a free gift. Uh, it's going to be a collector's item. It's, uh, it's a, a special special gift that we're only doing a, a short run of them. So uh, pre-register and get that. And, uh, yeah. Get what's, one the, of, what's the website, Patrick? I do believe it is, uh, is Sin City Beard Coalition. But again, if you go to our Facebook uh, events page, it is on there as well. So, do judges get some of this the special edition special thing that you're talking about? Yeah. Um, again, like uh, we're we've got some really cool things planned, and we we've uh, had one of the local uh, shops here work on some unique things for our judges. So. Uh, I want to thank Brushwood uh, Creations for helping us out with that. And uh, super cool guys there. Uh, Kevin and, and Brittany have really helped us out and uh, creating something really unique and special for each of our judges. So uh, I want to thank those guys as well. 
dude, I'm super excited about this event. Like you have, you have outdone yourself for a first event. So you've definitely set your bar awfully high for that second one. <laughs> you wouldn't imagine the things that people offered to us. And I was like, Whoa, man, we got to pump the brakes, man. This is only our first one. Um, maybe we'll do what some of these things that they've offered and uh, people have reached out and told us that, Hey, we, we know some people that might want to get involved. And I was like, man, those are, that's, that's one for down the road for sure. Right. So, um, but yeah, it, it, we're excited about this. We, we, you know, we really want to make this something that we can do annually and, uh, definitely make it one of the marks on the, on the beard community. You know, I always tell people, you know, bearding is the only sport with no off season. And, uh, and it's definitely, uh, something that's really cool. So we want to be a part of this for, for the future, for the, you know, as, as we grow, grow our, our club has only, uh, been around for eight months, you know, um, so it, it's fairly new. We're really kind of ahead of ourselves as far as, uh, we, we were thinking maybe next year we would do our first competition, but, uh, oh, no. things just kind of landed right in our lap it. and we were like, Hey, let's run with it. You know, uh, let's do something. And I think we can make something really special. And so, uh, even though we're not in Las Vegas for this competition, everybody wants an excuse to come to Las Vegas. So why not a better, nothing better than a beard competition along with it. So, I mean, you're, um, you're Las Vegas adjacent. That's adjacent. That's yeah. 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 Uh, Most people you know, are like probably going to, like I said before, you know, with the mass mandates and whatnot and, uh, Nye County didn't have mass ma mandates, Clark County here in Nevada, and Las Vegas did so, and then uh, being able to get a venue for you know donated to us is huge. So uh, yeah, that's uh, and then we we committed to it. You know, I like to tell people there's three things about us bearded guys. You know, with long beards is we're we're dedicated, committed, and patient. You know, Absolutely. And, uh, so when we dedicate and we commit ourselves to something, we stick with it. You yep. know, so uh, that's. Uh, when when uh, we the opportunity to come back to Vegas was there, but we already had committed, so we're Absolutely. we were running with this. So, so next year maybe you might come back to Vegas, or you you may. Oh, uh, next rump. year definitely will be in Las Vegas. Okay. Everything is wide open now, and uh, yeah, we've like I said, we've had people reach out to us and say, "Hey, oh, we could definitely help you guys out," you know. So. In I the, can in the only future. imagine what type yeah, of yeah. So in the future, Vegas competition could put on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we we would have loved to have been able to put our name in the hat for the, the world, but uh, it's a little fresh, so uh, yeah. not this time. Maybe maybe 20, I don't know, 2027 or something. Oh, whatever you know? it is, yeah, 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patrick, you have been absolutely full of information and I know we could just keep plugging your brain for, you know, who knows how long, but we're, we're running out of time. So, uh, thank you for stopping by and letting us know everything about your extremely long name of a competition that I'm not <laughs> going to say. Um, but yeah, thank you, Patrick. I look forward to coming out there. And is there any last minute things that we didn't touch on that you, that you want to kind of throw out? Well, I just want to th thank you, Aaron, uh, for being a part of this. Uh, thanks, oh, cool. Honest Amish, for really stepping up and helping out. It's been uh, it's been a pleasure, and I really appreciate it. I'm very grateful, uh, Scott. I'm very thankful for you uh, putting this all together. You know, this the Beardcaster was my first run into in 2017, and you've built quite a cool thing here with the Talking Beards Network. So thank you for doing this. I really appreciate you guys. Well, I, I will have to say it's not just me. It's everyone in the community that has made this, like not only the podcast, but Talking Beards, like what it is. I mean, people like you doing these events, I mean, you give us something to talk about. You guys are doing stuff out in the community and for people to, and, and you know, the, the stories need to be heard and shared and stuff. And that was the whole point of all of this was to give everyone that, that place to do it. So thank you for throwing an awesome event that we wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.
Yep. You're welcome. Right, we'll see you soon, Patrick. Take care, guys. We'll Good see luck. you soon. Goodbye. Right. Everybody. Bye. Bye. All right, we're right at an hour. Uh, do you do you want to do some competitions, or you just want to end this thing? Let's cut it. Let's let Matt have his hour to shine. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Dylan, for stopping by and telling us, you know, all the information about, you know, Honest Amish being on your car this weekend in Atlanta, and Patrick Dawson for stopping by and telling us all about the Southern Nevada Battleborn Beard and Mustache Competition in Pahrump, Nevada. I think now that. Honest Amish has their fingers in with a NASCAR driver. I bet you could get Dylan to be a judge at a competition. And that I don't would be think it would cool. be that tough. Oh, but I think that would be awesome. But it would have to align with a NASCAR schedule. That's that's the tricky part. because oh, So I, basically what you're saying is we're going to throw a beard competition at a NASCAR event during halftime? Perfect. Yeah, because there's halftime at NASCAR events. We're going to have Rutledge and Dylan. Oh, my gosh. This would be so awesome. We know all the NASCAR people now. We could do it in Canada too. That would be awesome for the Canada Cup. You're goofball. That's my favorite. We got, we got to go. I'm Aaron D. Johnson. Thank you everybody for watching tonight. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Go ahead, Scott. And uh, I am once again Scott Sakura all day long, every day. You can find me at Scott Sakura on all social media, but go over to talkingbeards.com where you can find out more information about the show. And also you can go over to honestamish.com and our promo code talking beards to save 15% on your order orders over $35 have free shipping. Can you believe that? That's amazing. And you got it. And don't forget to check this. Oh, look at that. Honest Amish right on the hood there. Can you believe that? I can't freaking wait. And I, I bet hope you, Dylan makes it. <laughs> I, so do I. And I hope that you get some really cool pictures of the car and Dude, I'm going to cool take pictures. a thousand pictures of that car. This is going to be awesome. So this is make sure you guys are following us on social media, especially Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, Aaron's going to be at this event this weekend. So, and uh, Patrick's event next weekend. So there's going to be lots of awesome pictures posted. So uh, follow us. All right, everybody. Thank you. Have a great night and uh, tune over to beard laws. He's got TikTok Tuesday going on right now. Super funny stuff. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.